You can follow Miss Sprint Cup as the big one's happening once again, coming out of turn number four. Into the wall, Kyle Larson. Multiple cars sideways. Martin Trex Jr., a lot of damage to the front end of his car. Eric Almarola also involved. We've seen this time and time again. The 20 tries to come down on the 5. I don't know if he actually makes contact with the 5, or just the air gets him loose. Man, and then it's just a mess, right? When you have a trouble in front of that many cars, there's just nowhere to go. You see the 9 spinning, trying to avoid it. Wants to And we're down to a minute and a half here, so we're running. A, I mean, it's not going to be many more laps. Denny Hamlin goes to the top of the chart with Austin Dillon. Got Jake. one sideways. And around turn one in the wall. And that is Reed Sorensen. I think it was that quarter panel and the damage he had to the rear of that car that probably caused that accident. Clint Boyer had been trying to get past Sorensen. To know. Oh my gosh. I, I, something. The car turned before it got to the corner. Um, I'm not sure. If, I don't know. I have to look at it again. Well, let's try a different angle here. 54 oh, posted go. pass through penalty pushing and here's the big one down the back straight away at Talladega. Matt Crafton in it. And he just knew it had to happen at some point. It was just too tight. There was too much pushing and shoving, and finally it all just broke loose. Oh, it looked like that. The Johnny Sauter truck, I think, was in the middle, and someone didn't know he was there. Yeah, it was a 51 truck, Mike. It looked like he was in on the top three wide there and started to come down over the cross of, uh, or over the front of Johnny Sauter's nose, and that's really. Trouble back straight away, guys. Trevor Bain. The number of cars and involved. And more. Logano is in it. Crashing all. Oh, man. Happen. Happen. fast to have me care for today and uh, I thought this is one of those places you can get a win you can make your way into the chase or run top five and our car was really fast in the middle of the racetrack right there was slow and See, look Kyle at, Larson's gonna squeeze Blake Cook I think it that's was actually Suarez. Suarez was trying to get yeah. through the middle and he just wow. misjudged the the room he had to make that move and cause that crash that was a that was a rookie who was trying to understand exactly how to go about qualifying here at Daytona under this format. Problems, huge hit for Kennedy. The 11 up on the safer barrier. Down off the wall it comes to a grinding halt in the middle of the racetrack. I'm okay. Oh, okay. so he's racing on the inside of David Gill, and they make a little bit of contact. You see John West Townley was on the outside. He's going to run right into the side of him and kind of lift that truck up a little bit. Got into the catch fence for the second week in a row. We've had a vehicle in the catch fence. But again, the catch fence did its job. It kept that truck down on the racetrack, and you see it riding along the top of the safer barrier. When they got to turn one, Phil... I think they were three wide, and Ben probably thought that's a difficult angle for the spotters to see as well. And I think the, that Ben probably thought, wow, look how close that truck goes, comes to going over. Probably thought they were just too wide, and he had room to. Oh, big trouble. That's the rookie Suarez up and over Regan Smith, the big one at Daytona in the tri -oval. And it looks like he just gets him in a bad, bad spot right there, and he just got behind in his steering. Yeah, he got too far to the right, and coming off off of the corner right there, that car unloads as you come off of that banking, and it just took just a little bit, little bit too much. And that's that window that you have to push. And and uh, if you get outside of the center of that back bumper, the way that. Reddick in the 19 that had the problem that kicked it up. Reddick high Redick, yeah. in turn four loose. Just about has his truck saved and along comes Terrio. 
at that right front tire. Yeah, really nothing Austin can do. And at all. And Tyler Reddick, he, he was just fighting to regain control of his truck. I don't know. We didn't see if anything uh, maybe clipped Reddick and sent him sliding sideways. We they, they can't do this for 10 oh, laps. Eric go. Jones around. Back oh, across the field. The big one, part two at Daytona. Yeah, they can't oh. do this. Looks like there might have been some contact there. And there you see Kyle, top of your screen. Kyle bumps into Larson and it turns him to the left. Elliot Sadler hit there by Brendan Gone. And there's the 54. You saw the impact. Hart Jr. to the bottom of the track. Jr. will win at Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh, my God. Harvick. What an incredible sight to see Austin Dillon walking away from that three car that is demolished. Yeah, the 11 gets kind of stuck in the middle there and gets comes across the fours bumper as he does. He spins back in, gets the three airborne, and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence.